Hey, David from Extreme Home Arcades here with another tutorial video. I thought it would be cool to show you how to set up the new Active Marquee system. Um, this is really nice that one of our customers kind of set the software up and it makes it really easy to add the Active Marquee just as number one, but also to add multiple displays uh, depending on if you want to add, you know, another screen uh, for like instruction cards and things like that. Now, we don't normally do that here all the time. Um, but it would be something useful if you wanted to project something somewhere else or have another display built in your machine. So um, I wanted to show you how we can do that now, kind of using a third party software to run that versus having it built in uh, into Omega. So I'll show you that here. So if you've gotten your boot drive from us within the last two, three weeks, so at the beginning of June, um, this should show you how to set up your Active Marquee if you have a new drive that was just updated or for some reason if you, it's not working properly and you just want to check the settings on it. All right, so when we bring up our exit screen, we call it the exit screen because it has exit down here in the bottom right corner. Uh, when you exit, you're gonna exit out of big box this is normally how you do that. But also in the screen now, if you have this app, you should see this third screen settings app right here. We can just go down and select that, one player start on that. It's gonna bring up this window. So I'm gonna move this down here so you can see it better. Um, but the third screen app here allows you to basically add a third screen, fourth screen, fifth screen, whatever your graphics card will allow. But mainly we use it on our machines for the active marquee. So it allows us then to run our Active Marquee in its own window, basically a dedicated window that won't be pushed aside if you're running 4K games or other lower resolution games sometimes can throw off the marquee positioning as well. This should take care of that as an overall general rule of thumb. So basically when this comes up here, you get your new drive and you got it installed and you have an Active Marquee or you want to add another display, you're going to go to here where it says Add Screen when this third screen settings menu pops up here. Thanks to these guys for making this happen. Super Rob. Thank you for that. Um, so we're gonna add our screen here. Now this machine already has the screen added. So when I click on my select screen here, I have my active marquee set. Um, but if you just setting this up for the first time, you won't have anything here. You'll just click on add screen and you can call it whatever you want for your active marquee. I just call it active marquee. Uh, you can put that in there. Uh, if you have a keyboard hooked up, you can type that in. If you wanna use the, the on-screen keyboard, you can bring that up. I'm just holding down shift, pushing up and then I can bring in my little on-screen keyboard down here, if you can see this in the corner, for the touchscreen uh, keyboard. So you can add that uh, without even using a USB keyboard. So anyway, so when you click on Add Screen, I already have one set up here for the Active Marquee, so now it's gonna ask what my third screen would be, and I could call it whatever I want, but we're not gonna do that today. I just wanna focus on the Active Marquee. Uh, so I'm gonna select my screen here. Once you have your Active Marquee screen inputted, you don't have to do any of this stuff yet, but it'll come up. You can select your screen, select your active marquee, and you'll notice here I already have some settings set, but you're going to select your secondary display. That should be your 1920 by 340 or 1920 by 360. Uh, so you want to select that one. It's already going to put, you know, this is what it looks like obviously up here in our, if you can see it uh, up there, but um, that's the screen. It's going to tell you automatically what the resolution is set here. We're just going to leave it as a normal display type. Uh, and then these settings down here, I like to blow up my logo so it at least fills the whole screen. Sometimes people don't like that. You can turn that on or off here by doing the stretch, yes or no. You can just click on that to save it to yes or no. Um, and it automatically saves it down here so you don't even have to worry about saving it. It's nice that uh, Rob set that up so it'll just save it automatically so it's really convenient. But I like to leave that on yes. This is like media in the platform view and then when you're in the game itself, these are the settings for that. You don't have to change any of this stuff. Just make sure that everything says yes. If you want my two cents on it, you can set it to whatever you want. But whether or not it's going to stretch it or not, it's just going to either leave it in a window or it's going to blow it up big to fill the whole screen. I like to have it all set up like that. Um, the only other thing that you can go in here, you can go to the Startup Videos folder. And in here, this is already here because I put it here. But basically what you're going to do is take these two files out of your link on your desktop uh, and you can copy and paste them here. This just makes the logo run on the top when you first boot it up. Also in LaunchBox now, you can have all your active marquees showing even when you're on LaunchBox versus just Big Box. So that's kind of cool if you're a guy like me that's adding games all the time um, or you just like to load things out of LaunchBox. You don't even have to be in Big Box to have your active marquee, your videos and other things working. So again, back to this, I've just brought up this window here, active marquee. Uh, this is where they want the videos to be, that's fine. We can just copy it right out of there. If I go to my desktop here, and I'm going to look for where it says uh, Startup Marquees go here. If I go into there, you'll see these same two, same two files. This is really the only important one. These are some old videos. But if you just copy these, so I'm going to say, oops, copy. And then I can go back one folder to my original one. Whoop, one more. Back here into the Active Marquee for the Setup Third Screen location and just paste them here with Explorer. It's going to ask me if I want to overwrite them. I'll just say, okay. They're already there. Don't care. All right. So that's all done. So basically that's it. This is already set up. 
and it's already saving the settings. So once you're done here and you make sure your active marquee is set to this display number two, your main display is display number one, display number two is number two, is your active marquee. So if, as long as you have that set and all these settings are done here, which they should automatically be, uh, you can just close this out. So as I'm scrolling through big box here, you can see the active marquees are working, video files, like this one happens to have a video file, so it's a video running up there. Uh, it's gonna default to whatever the first file is in that list that we just showed you. Uh, if it doesn't find that, it's gonna go to the next one, to the next one, to the last one. So most of them will be clear logos, even if there is no video file or you know marquee file or something like that. So it'll always show something. But what's cool about this too is if I exit out of here and I go into LaunchBox, I'm gonna exit out here, I'm gonna load up LaunchBox. And you'll see now that the marquees will also come up in LaunchBox, which never worked before because uh, the Active Marquee program was actually only running in Big Box. So now you'll see our video pops up there. And as I'm scrolling through different games here, uh, just with my joystick here, but you can see the marquees change as well. So our videos, other things, I can click over here on, um, Oh, Arcade, just for example, and it shows the video for Arcade Classic, so it's got the videos just the same. So it'll basically, if you're in LaunchBox, it'll show the same active marquees, uh, the same images um, that you would be seeing in, in Big Box as well. So LaunchBox, Big Box, active marquees. Uh, thanks, Rob. Everything's working good there. So as far as our testing goes, working great, and this new third-party plugin is doing well. Have a great day.